the BSA Scouts, Outdoor Ethics and Conservation leadership, staff, instructors, and volunteers, greetings from the International Space Station. My name is Chell Lindgren. I'm a NASA astronaut currently serving as Commander of Crew 4 and the Spacecraft Freedom, and as a flight engineer for Expedition 67 and 68 here on the Space Station. I'm an Assistant Scoutmaster and the Outdoor Ethics Advisor for my son's troop. It is a profound privilege to live and work on this amazing orbital outpost, unlocking the mysteries of the universe, extending our presence in the solar system, and making life better back on Earth. We also have the privilege of serving as stewards of the International Space Station, a vehicle that has survived the harsh environment of space for over 20 years. This resilient spacecraft provides us with clean air to breathe, replenished with oxygen, and scrubbed of carbon dioxide and other harmful contaminants. It protects us from radiation and temperature extremes and provides us with water and food. We spend about 30% of our time taking care of this spaceship, conducting repairs and preventative maintenance because it is profoundly clear that we cannot survive without it. As we look back at the Earth from this vantage point, we get to experience the vast beauty of our home planet. The billowing expanse of clouds and water broad swaths of equatorial green inscribed with rivers meandering through lush wetlands, gleaming white glaciers grinding through valleys of their own device, and splashes of turquoise and fields of blue ocean. It is indescribably beautiful, but it is also fragile. The atmosphere envelops the earth in a thin blue wisp. Rivers swirl with erosive plumes, and bands of deforested land are dotted with fire. Our planet feels endless and inexhaustible, but from orbit it is clear that our planet has limits. Its seemingly endless stretches of blue and white are completely surrounded by the black, empty void of space. The Earth, our spaceship, provides us with fresh air, food, and water. The atmosphere protects us from radiation and temperature extremes. Without the Earth's protection and provision, we cannot survive, and yet most of us spend nowhere near 30% of our time caring for our home. So many of us that have the privilege to see the Earth from this vantage point return with a renewed desire to protect our planet, to conduct the maintenance and repairs needed to preserve our spaceship Earth. The work that you all do, advocating, educating, and investing the lessons of outdoor ethics and conservation in our scouts, the next generation of scientists, explorers, and leaders is vital. So thank you for your vision and for your service to our scouts, to our communities, to our country and to the earth. The time that you have invested in conservation and education will preserve our open spaces, our environment, and our beautiful spaceship earth for scouts, for our children, and for generations to come. Ad Astra.